God is angry, so he's unleashing his wrath. It's coming down now. Have you ever seen water like this? Ten inches of rain in Virginia? Cars floating away? It's weakening the foundation of the houses? Skyscrapers? Foundation weak? What's going to happen when the earthquake hits? And the buildings that we delight in come down. See, when God is angry, he kills people. And he is not discriminating. The Bible says he's no respecter of persons. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Goodbye. That's the God we're dealing with today. So everyone in this room, everyone watching, white or black, look at yourself and then find a way to repent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to change. Yes, sir. I got to be better than what I am. Well, if I change, what, what's the benefit? Well, I'm a part of a kingdom that's coming in. Well, where is it? You understand? I don't see no kingdom. See? Is here. It's small. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a mustard seed. See, you just got to know what's happening. And Reverend, let me tell you, if you preach it like this, your congregation will come alive. They won't just sing and shout. Their behavior will change. Because God don't give a damn about the big church or the little church or the fine church or the not so fine church. What God is interested in is people transforming their lives and not conforming to the world but being transformed by the renewing of their mind. Now this is just the beginning. It starts with just cleaning up. Then there's something else that we got to do. I'm just going to throw it at you. Do you think the white man got a job for you? Oh yes, I, I'm, I'm getting my college degree. Get it. Then start looking. See what you find. Nothing. He don't have enough jobs for his own millions of unemployed. Do you think he's making jobs for you? You dropping out of school? Well, I can't blame you. If I was being fed that kind of crap that they feeding in school, I might drop out too. Oh, Farrakhan, that's terrible. The children need to be in school. They need to be in the right school. They need to be under the right education. They need to be under the right discipline and the right training. And they're not getting it in the public schools of America, not even in the private schools. her the book says that you be not partakers of her sins and her plagues we got to start setting up our own our own educational system don't tell me we can't do it <laughs> look at Barack do you know this man is so brilliant I say, yes, Barack. My son Lewis said, he said, yes. 
Barack might become the first president of the United States of Africa. All Africa trying to unite. And it's those of us that were kidnapped from Africa that have the blessing of an education from the West. All we need is the right orientation of our minds. We take that learning and start doing something for ourselves and helping Africa to get up. That's something that must be done. Now, begging white folks for jobs, you got to stop it. You're wasting time. What are you going to school to learn? Oh, I, I think I'm going to have a psychology course. For what? The psychologist is crazy as hell himself. You saw the brother Nidal Hassan? He's a psychiatrist that blew his lid. So what are you going to study? Well, I think I'm going to study sociology. For what? What society are you going to fix? You think white folks going to give you a job fixing their society? You better get some knowledge to fix yourself and your people. And where you live, you can start. How many of you acquainted with engineering? Oh, hell, that's too hard, man. Shoot. You've got more black women studying electrical engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, women. Now, they're going to get a job, but they're qualified to build their own nation. We got everything we need to build a nation of our own. The only thing that's missing is we don't have land. So what did God promise the children of Israel when they were living under Pharaoh? Did he promise them, look, baby, I'm going to introduce integrate you up into Pharaoh. No, he was about to destroy Pharaoh. He wanted them to come out because he was going to give them a land that they could build a nation for his glory. That is your future. You say, oh, Farrakhan, that's a pipe dream. Well, 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 if it's a pipe dream, get a pipe. Get your pipe and keep blowing the pipe and you'll see it ain't no dream. God is so powerful, he says in the scripture, he can take the kingdom from whom he pleases and he'll give it to whom he pleases. And it pleases God to give you the kingdom. Well, Farrakhan, I thank you for this, the time and what must be done. Now I know that we're at the end of the world of the Caucasian people and their time to rule. And since we are at the end and everything is collapsing, then I've got to make a change and come out of this that is collapsing and find my way into that which God is making new. Well, now, oh, I, look, I've been a member of the nation for 20 years. I ain't seen it yet. You think it's supposed to be seen just because you came? <laughs>